SwiftUI gives us alignment guides for the various edges of our views, leading, trailing, top, and so on, plus center and two baseline options to help with text alignment. However, none of these work well when you're working with views that are split across disparate parent views. If you have to make two views align the same when they're in entirely different parts of your user interface. To fix this, SwiftUI lets us create custom alignment guides and use those guides in views across our UI. It doesn't matter what comes before or after those views, they'll still line up. For example, we could make a layout that shows my Twitter account name and my profile picture on the left, and on the right shows full name plus Paul Hudson in a large font. HStack, VStack, text at two straws. Then image, Paul dash Hudson, dot resizable, dot frame, width 64, height 64. And then VStack, text full name, text Paul Hudson in a large title font. If you want at two straws and Paul Hudson to be vertically aligned together, you'll have a hard time right now. The horizontal stack contains two vertical stacks inside it, so there's no built in way to get the alignment you want. Things like HStack alignment top just won't come close. To fix this, we have to define a custom layout guide. This should be an extension on either vertical alignment or horizontal alignment, and be a custom type that conforms to the alignment ID protocol. When I say custom type, you might be thinking of a struct, but it's actually a good idea to implement this as an enum instead, as I'll explain shortly. The alignment ID protocol has only one requirement which is that the conforming type must provide a static default value in method that accepts a view dimensions object and returns a CG float specifying how a view should be aligned if it doesn't have an alignment guide modifier. You'll be given the existing view dimensions object for the view, so you can either pick one of those for your default or use a hard coded value. Let's write out some code so you can see how it looks. Extension, vertical alignment. I'll make a struct called mid account and name, conforms to alignment ID. Then we'll make a static method called default value, in D, some view dimensions, return CG float. And we'll return the top dimension from those view dimensions. Then we'll say static let mid account and name equals a vertical alignment of that type, mid account and name dot self. You can see I've used a dot top view dimension by default. I've also created a static constant called mid account and name to make the custom alignment easier to use. Now I mentioned that using an enum is preferable to a struct and here's why. We just made a new struct called mid account and name, which means we could, if we wanted, create an instance of that struct, even though doing so doesn't make sense because it doesn't have any functionality. If you replace struct mid account and name with enum mid account and name, then you can't make an instance of it anymore. It becomes clearer that this thing exists only to house some functionality. Regardless of whether you choose an enum or a struct, its usage stays the same. Set it as the default alignment for your stack, then use alignment guide to activate it on any views you want to align together. This is only a guide. It helps you align views along a single line, but doesn't say how they should be aligned. This means you still need to provide the closure to alignment guide that positions the views along that guide as you want. For example, we could update our Twitter code to use mid account and name, then tell the account and name to use their center position for the guide. To be clear, that means align these two views so their centers are both on the mid account and name guide. Here's how it looks in code. I'll add alignment to the HStack using mid account and name, then add an alignment guide here for mid account and name, doing d in and return vertical alignment dot center. And the same for the second piece of text. Again, alignment guide, mid account and name, d in and return vertical alignment dot center. That'll make sure they're vertically aligned regardless of what comes before or after. I suggest you try adding some more text views before and after our examples. SwiftUI will reposition everything to make sure the two we aligned stay that way.